Hey, I'm Jerry <clears throat> at my apartment again. Today is May 10th, 2023. <clears throat> I was supposed to call um, the police department and report my car stolen yesterday, but something came and screwed with me <clears throat> and I didn't get to it. I'm not gonna do it today. I'm about to call my aunt, Brenda, right now. Um, and she also works there and see if she can help me. <clears throat> but like, I've been experiencing a lot of uh, negativity towards me because of, of what they failed to do and what they couldn't do. And recently, they stood me up at my uh, recent employer. I, I believe my aunt has something to do with it. And if it's true, I'm gonna be confronting her and taking her to court, you know? <clears throat> but like, um. You know, they stood me up. I know she's been working there for like two years now. From the time when she moved to, I'm going to confess and tell her what I'm thinking about the situation and the view. <clears throat> she's been working there for two years now. So I'm thinking she planned everything out and uh, went for it until the point my car got repossessed and they tried to uh, kick me into the homeless shelter. The thing that really upsets me is these people have no education and they don't know how it's like being homeless and stuff like that. These people have nothing and they can't make it in this country with nothing, you know, and not even become homeless or even seen a uh, um, county jail or the penitentiary. But they can like do stuff like that and, and get away with it, you know. They can do all that stuff to people and all that stuff, really cold hearted monsters and all that and get away with it, you know. <clears throat> but like, um, think um, from my time while well being, I was working at Leading Technology Composites, LTC. Um, I think they robbed me out of my life force, you know, in that time. It, come on now, it's eight years I've been working there. And they did something with the with the Buddhist monks in the temple. Went through the garbage, took my food, my trash, and did voodoo's and spells on it. You know, and brought me to my dad's house and robbed me. She stole my life force uh, from Wichita, Kansas. You know, I've been living in Wichita for probably over 20 years now, and she stole my life force, gave it to herself, and got a job at the Kansas Star Casino. You know. And I'm going to be confronting them. And this is going to be my second time going into the homeless shelter. You know, I lost a lot. These people murdered my mother and did all that stuff to me and got away with it. You know, <clears throat> these people never went to prison, never seen the homeless, has no education. But they do stuff like that to people and kill them and get away with it all the time. You know, and it needs to stop, you know, and they... They talk crap to you, you know. Right. This dude is a loser. This girl is a loser, and they're over there talking crap to you, you know. Right. It, it needs to stop, you know. Right. And like I did, I would. If you got into it, I would probably kill him, you know. Right. But like, you know, I never did nothing like that towards anybody, so I, you know, I don't be doing stuff like that. <clears throat> but like, um. Recently, my par car got repossessed, and I think her ex-husband or her husband got something to do with it. You know, they brought me over there, probably made some food, got me to eat, whatever. You know, it, it's family, I don't think, but when it comes down to it, we're, we're going to take care of it, you know. They went to the trash, took the stuff, did all kinds of voodoo. When I'm at home, I could hear a bunch of boys talking, people, like, going disrespecting me. Uh, taunting me, going through my stuff, disrespecting me, like, like you, there's nothing you can do about it. Just watch. And they just disrespect me like that. <clears throat> and um, they take my, the garbage, like the chicken bone, whatever, and take it to the temple or whatever, or to the Buddha or whatever, and, um, and uh, you know, and do voodoo on it. And, like, that's how my car got repossessed and you know, get your life to go in a different direction. That's why she brought me to Kansas Star Casino, got rid of my job, about to hit it, 
10 years trying to disrespect me you know, and, and be like, how did they do it? You know, trying to disrespect me like they, they, they're, all, they're all bad and tough. And that guy, Han Song Ho, and my, brand, my aunt Brenda talks to that guy, Han Song Ho, ever since I was a kid, you know, and that's how she learned how to, how to work it. <clears throat> so she brought me there to Kansas Star Casino to test her powers, to see where she's at so she can see where she's going to be in Wichita, Kansas, you know. So she disconnected me and did all that to me just to test out her powers, you know. And now I'm going to ask her to help me. And, and I heard she got good credit, and I'm going to ask her to down payment, not cosign. I have mon some money. I'm going to try to, you know, uh, um, ask uh, the managers to help me on some stuff so I could get a different car. Probably going to need some time off, you know. <clears throat> but like, um, I'm going to ask her to co-sign for me. And I'm going to try to get her to co-sign for me for a brand new car and stuff. And they have all that. And like, they be robbing me like that. And, and when I need help, like I said, I fought all that and did all that by myself. Fought the whole great empire. You know, became the heir and all that said by myself. And now when I need help, nobody helps. But when it's about my glory, they will slander that shit and say, nope, I help you with the Messiah, exercising this stuff. That's why I'm there. I can't just start a casino, you know, to find out where they're at, you know. When I'm in the pit and dealing, this guy is a cold-hearted monster. He, he comes by and try to get what he wants and try to get me to bow down to it. And like, and what I'm dealing, he'll come by and screw me up, you know. And like the people, the Vietnamese people talk to that guy and that's how they win money and get me to screw up. And he'll go talk to that Vietnamese guy and the Vietnamese girl and they'll come by and attack me. You know, <clears throat> and they got upset. I never bow down to nobody, you know. And like they attack me like that every day ever since I was four years old probably. The time when my mo mom died, when they murdered my mom just to get rid of me, you know. <clears throat> and I want to be confronting her about that too, you know. <clears throat> but like, um, yeah, they got rid of my car, probably trying to get rid of my apartment, and you know, and we're gonna see what's going on. You know? They're probably she's probably trying to find out where she's at. She stole my life bars from from Kansas, and, and when she came in two years ago. She, she worked and exercised her power there at Kansas Star Casino and figured out where she was at. And then when that guy on her home and that general pastor Kim Jong Cho was ready and the monks were ready, they, they said bring him in, you know. And now here I am at the verge of losing everything, you know. <clears throat> but like, um, you know, I truly believe they found out that I had a job and that guy Todd, who knows, and all the people that works at Leading Technology Composites, if one person go down, they're all gonna go down, you know? Right. So they, they pitched in, paid some people and got rid of my car and worked with the Messiah, you know? They worked with the Messiah, pitched in and got rid of it so they could live their American lives just a little bit longer, you know? <clears throat> so, all right, I told you about my situation and I'm going to be talking to management and trying to, uh, the managers, whoever, and try to work something out. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like the gig and I like the job. I would like to stay and be a dealer at Kansas Star Casino. <clears throat> I can, I, I can't probably get another vehicle for sure, but then I'm going to have to talk to somebody. I'm probably gonna have to miss days and stuff like that. Hopefully, uh, they'll grant me access to that and you know, and uh, you know, give, give me access to that so I can take that. <clears throat> so here I go. I'm gonna call my aunt. It's a, it's 1:30 right now. So here I go. Let's see what she says. 
you know, if it's, I'm going to use this video, you know. Hello? Right. I don't know. Um, they so, somebody came by, stole it, my car, or repoed it, and like, um, kind of need your help, huh? At your apartment? Yeah, at my apartment. Somebody stole your car? Yeah, stole my car or repoed it. But I need um, I need a ride to work on Friday. You think you can? I'm gonna go talk to the manager. I could probably think I might get be able to get some money. And get a new car. How? How they stole your car? I don't know. The repo people came and repoed it while I was they sleeping. Repo. You owe somebody money? No. They just came and um never came and knocked on my door. And the keys and all that stuff is still here. You do do something bad like a ticket you don't have? No. No, I didn't. Yeah, the tow truck came and took my car. Do you call the police? I'm about to call it after right after I call you. But I need I need I I, I think I start at, at ten or eight o'clock. Last night? No, on Friday. I, I'm asking when they stole your car, last night or now? The the day the big the day before last night. Did you call the police right away? Yeah, I had to go do something. I had to go do something first. I didn't couldn't call the cops. But I'm gonna call them after I get done calling. Um, get done with you. Yeah, call the cops. Report the police. Tell them the license plate. Who take it? They can find it. Okay. So tell them the tow truck company. Yeah. Did they tell you what what company the tow truck? Did you see it? Yeah. What company? I don't know. I I, I took. I recorded. You got the camera. Yeah, I recorded. Show that. Yeah. Uh, what will you, you need a, a ride to go do that? Yeah, I, I need a ride to work on Friday so I could go talk to uh, the manager about yeah, some. I, I work Friday. Call, uh, I will tell my office uh, manager. Okay. Tell them you have dropped you off, okay? Can, can I just drop you off at work and then use your car and then go there? No. Okay. Does, does, I could. I could have to tell you, okay? Would it, would it Camry? Yeah, he can tell you with the Camry. Nobody touch my car this time. Okay, a ask him if I can borrow his car. No, you cannot drive this car either. This is a wrong cover. Yeah. If something happened to my car, so no one touch my car this time. Okay. Okay. But yeah, you, you, you call him and tell him to call me then. Yeah, not not today. Only on um, on Friday. I'll call you. I'll call you back tomorrow. What time you uh, go to work Friday? Um, at ten. But I'm gonna need to go there. 10 p.m. At ten p.m. or eight p.m. Let me check my schedule first. I'll call you back. Check your schedule. Tell me your address so I can tell you to get you. Yeah, I need to get there early too. Thursday. Are you work on Thursday? Huh? Oh, yeah, I think it's Thursday, yeah. My bad. Yeah, give me your address on Thursday. Go yeah. Talk to me on Thursday, okay? I will be at home that. Okay. Who can I take you on Thursday? But it could, oh, yeah, take me on Thursday, I mean. Yeah. You better tell me your address. Okay. And check your schedule. I tell him to get you, okay? Okay. Make sure you take care of your car. Call the car. Let them go find your car. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call the price buyout. Alright. Right. Right. Yeah, and one thing, my neighbor, um, James, work at Leading Technology Composites, and I feel like they have friends over there doing voodoo on me and um, and stuff like that. They be helping that guy on song home, you know. And like I'm mean, been trying to press uh, attempted murder charges on the lady in the front office of Sugar Creek Apartments and that guy James, you know. 
<clears throat> they they sabotaged me, and when I prove it, I'm gonna be suing that guy James, my neighbor. They did something to, uh, you know, to rob me, right. and pulled my car. That guy An San Hong will come inside your house, and just help himself to whatever in his empire and his people, you know, and act like it's his home. You freaking loser that can't even do it. Think he the man of your freaking house, you know. <clears throat> For real, you'll come by like while you were sleeping, and and do all kinds of wicked ass shit to you, man. You know, like I said, they went all out war on me and lost. You know, and now I'm gonna prove it. And my whole freaking family tried to kill me, and my neighbor got in with it in this whole apartment complex during the time. Remember the time when the country shut down, the, the America, North America, and the whole country shut down. You remember that that time. You know, right. where else, man? Right. <clears throat> These people got a problem, and I've been try trying to pin a attempted murder charges on them. Right. <clears throat> but like, um, yeah. See, this is my badge, and she has it all planned out. She she got the Buddha, the monks, and the Messiah, and the whole great empire working for her. You know, right. <clears throat> like I said, they they have teamed up with the guy, the neighbor, and all that stuff. And I got my second eviction letter. And, like, I haven't even paid my rent yet. I borrowed some money from my aunt, but then I had a hunch from the cop when I tried to... I called the cops and tried to get them to come over here to talk about it. <clears throat> they said, don't worry about it. So I just had a hunch and didn't pay them, you know? <clears throat> but, like, um, and it's affecting my work. You know, like I said, you know, it's talking all that shit and I can't even do it. Think he's a man of your freaking house. You know, goes and hops in his hoopty. You know, has a rundown apartment. Probably a felon. You know, and you know, talking shit and can't even do it. You know. <laughs> but like, yeah, you know. Give you a freaking hoop and be like, yeah. Like, yeah, man. Like, yeah. Like, mother freaking what? You know? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just remember, when it all came out, when the truth came out, you guys left me stranded in America. You know? Right. You know, the motherfuckers think they bad as fuck. But when the truth came out, they didn't want to go through it and left my ass stranded in America. <clears throat> but like I said, uh, that's the beef and what's going on. Um, I'm going to ask um, Cannon Star Casino and the owners and uh, the owner of Cannon Star Casino to help me. Um, can you help me get attorneys and lawyers, the owner? I haven't got that far yet because I have a lot of stuff fighting with me. And lawyers and help me sue leading technology composites and the people that are doing this to me, you know. And, and Sugar Creek Apartments. I'm, I'm asking Boyd Gaming <laughs> and Cat Star Casino to, to step in and hop in and help me get attorneys and, and end it. I truly believe that these people brought the Twin Towers down and, and has no education, never seen homeless, never even went to school, you know, and never ever went to jail. They'd be doing all that stuff and getting away with it. Even killed all those people when, when the Twin Towers attacked. Just like the instance, for example, <clears throat> the 911 call that I went and had no help. You know, the 911 call that I made and never got help on. You know, and that's why it came down. You know, I'm telling you, they have it all planned out. They know how to use the Messiah powers. You know, I've seen it in the pit. You know, right. the supervisors and all that stuff talked to that guy, Hansa Hu and Jesus. The first time and the second time. You know, i seen it with my eyes. You know, right. they're upset. They fought me and lost, and they're upset and went and repoed my car, knowing that I'm going to make it in Kansas Star Casino as a dealer. You know, my aunt was confident 
and want to show off her powers and see where she's at. So they went and robbed me out of my job at Leading Technology Composites and, uh, you know, <clears throat> and went and got me to go apply there, you know, right. and just to show off her powers and see where she's at in Wichita, Kansas, you know. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Remember, I'm Jerry Gallencom. Please, uh, Boyd Gaming uh, Kansas Star Casino. Haven't looked up your names yet, the owners and stuff like that. The big people out there, please help me uh, conquer this. You know, right. I'm telling you guys the truth, for real. Right. <clears throat> and help me get lawyers and attorneys and get these dirt bags for what they did to everybody and me. You know, right. <clears throat> it needs to stop, man. These people are dangerous and it needs to stop, man. You know, right. I'm Jerry Gallencom. Just like the other videos. Enjoy Exile. Alright, bye.